Okay, final episode, final time. Let's put in the Saki Mitama I just bought into Norn, and there we go. Just, just a crumb of more stats. It's only 15 HP. Let's see if it matters. Probably not, but maybe. It might. That's a 22 vitality, Norn. We're gonna go. Welcome back, everybody, to... <sighs> hopefully, the final episode of Devil Survivor. Where we still are sitting here with a free battle, just... Because <laughs> the game knows. <laughs> The game knows exactly what you might be needing here. But anyway, let us summon ba- Yes, Scion. The time has finally come. Are you prepared? Well, back No, let's, let's do it. Alright. Feel the power of Bell within you, and give yourself to its flow. That power will rock Babel awake, calling him here. Last song of the night. No encores, please. Hey, Gein. I wonder how much I knew. How much did she understand? I think... She gave me work because she knew all of this was gonna happen. Yeah. Regardless of the truth, I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful I met her. And for everything about her. Alright. After everything's said and done, let me listen to you sing. You have a fever or something? You've always listened to me sing. <laughs> I know. But I want to hear it again. Don't lose focus until it's over. <laughs> you don't even have to tell me. It's all good. Justice always wins. And we're not alone. It was a pretty inconvenient week, but it's almost over. It's the end. Let's do this. I won't think about wanting to run away. If I'm not, if I'm with you all, I got, oh, yeah, fuck. If I'm with all you guys, I'm not scared. And I believe in Cole. It's been a long journey. I'll finish this mission no matter what. Commander Fushimi. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but you guys sound like you're having fun. Oh, I'll give it 120% of my overflowing he hulking storm of love. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but you guys are doing it. Fantastic. This is the demon summoning server? Is this... Yeah, this is the demon summoning server our comps are connected to? That's a big man. Then that means this is Babel. It seems so. This is the King's Gate. The proof of kingship that all the bells have sought. Babel. I thought it'd be more like a uh, gate. Uh... I imagine something different. It's he humongous, ho. Are we going to he have to climb it, ho? I don't want to. <laughs> My, what a great audience I have. I just have to sing the song here. That is what Remiel tells me. If Cole closes the gate after the song is uploaded, all the demons will return to the demon room, unable to return to our side. All right. I'll take care of uploading it to Babel. I'll give you a sign one time to sing. Hey, I haven't, got a I haven't got a conductor now? This is getting fun. I'll make this my best performance ever. Now, let the concert begin. Uh, here we go. Hey, Lolfant, you missed like 30 episodes. Man, this must be uh, kind of different from where you left off. Hey, look at all the shit that I have. Oh. There's fucking prayer. I found it. <laughs> I found prayer, guy. He missed everything. Yeah, we are literally in the final boss right now. I guess none of this really matters, so like... It's, 
scary. Yeah, no, it's it is very ominous, isn't it? Oh, I have to use Otsuro. Oh fuck. Uh. So now I know why I never. <sighs> now I know why I didn't use Azuna. That's ass. That is ass. Midori's still alive, Keisuke's dead, everyone else lived. So, I guess I'll give you a rundown, because you missed it, lol fan. There are six endings to this game. There's one early bad ending, which is the Honda ending. Honda just wants to get the fuck out and leave. If you pick, if you side with Honda and leave early, you get an early bad ending. Yeah, no, he didn't do that. No, Midori is in the party. Once, once you got Midori in the party when we did, she's, she's good. But, um... What was the fucking... What was his final one? Was it like Fizz Jump? Maybe, I don't remember. I don't remember what the last one I had on her was. Plus Stone, Ares Aid for Crit Chance. Honestly, bro, I just got like Life Surge. It wasn't what I had on before, but I don't know what what I had, you know? I could do Life Lift to heal a bunch after every fight, but... I just, I just realized I don't have Fizz Rise or Fizz Jump. They're these two missing question marks. I somehow never got either of the physical boosting skills. So I guess I'll just go Life Surge. <coughs> oh. I fucking hate that I have to use him. Because he is now the lowest level. I used Izuna because she's just straight up better than him, but okay. So yeah, Honda, Honda's kind of the red herring character. You cannot side with Honda. Give me a sec, I'm, I'm still, still trying to get things, you know what I mean? Get the tack all on you. Prayer with you. There we go. Oh yeah, uh, Black Frost is in the party. All right, I'm gonna put this here just so we don't have to redo this all this bullshit again. God, I fucking forgot I have to deploy fucking Otsuro. Uh. Cool, see that over there? I think that's the console the panel connected to Babel. Ho and I are gonna head there first. Let's see, just pretend the panel's my number one fan, right? Yeah, when I get to the console, I'll prep the upload. That's when you start singing. Alright. You said your name is Atsura, right? I'll be following you, so you better be a good bodyguard. Cool. Haru and I have to go to the console in the middle. You never know what'll happen, so back us up. Oh, not only am I forced to deploy Atsura, he's effectively guard guiding the fucking escort mission. Fantastic. Hmm, okay. Yeah, Black Frost is in the party. He's very fun. He is abs- I, I know he's, like, not good at all, but you think I'm not fucking not keeping him in the fucking party? You're crazy. Um. So, Honda's ending is the early bad ending. You have... Yuzu's ending, which is the obligatory you didn't get any other ending. Yuzu just wants to fuck off and leave. After everything we've seen, Yuzu doesn't give a shit. She says, this is terrifying and I want to leave and I'm a baby bitch baby. And bows the fuck out, you know what I mean? You have, um, Atsuro's ending, which we did not have access to because Keisuke died. 
Uh, if KSK was alive, Otsuro's ending is that he wants to uh, change the coding of the server to allow humans to have full control over all demons. So that that way any of this evil shit can never happen again, but we can also use demons for, you know, like, good causes. That we- that was the control of the demons ending. That's Otsuro's. Um... Then you have the three main endings. You have the neutral ending, the lawful ending, and the chaos ending. The lawful ending is siding with Amane of the Shomen Kai and siding with Remiel to be God's chosen messiah and literally becoming Jesus Christ and embracing God's ordeal to be able to overcome all of these fucking demons. You know what I mean? Going along with the ordeal itself to be able to go along with it. Yeah, it's more Ramiel than Amane, but Amane is absolutely on board with that stupid bullshit. So, you know. But, at the end of the day, uh, that's what happens. Uh, oh fuck, they both know Megiddo. This is what we're starting with? Okay. Fucking A, okay. Well, bye, uh, bye Rangdon, Vivian. Um... Oh, I just got stoned. Very- and they just fully healed themselves. Oh, very, very fun. Oh, and they have sacrifice- or, uh, mana aid. Oh. Very cool. Oh, none of those cure stone. Great. So, yeah, that's Amane's ending. That's one of the more basic ones, comparatively. I'm trying to see if I have any way of... No, I don't have any way of healing him. Okay. Well, then. Also, yeah, they specifically made it so you can't cheese this map with flight, because you need to get Haru over there. So even if you gave Otsuro flight, Haru can't fly, so it doesn't matter. Oh, but that dude can, and he's coming to kick the shit out of Haru. Great. Immobilized game. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to stop the Megiddos from coming, but uh, there's only so much I can do. I am alive, though. So, the end, the other ending, which is the main really, really cool ending. Naoya's ending. You can side with Naoya and get a deep explanation for everything that is going on. The chaos ending. He wants you to become the king of Bell and reign over demons. And via your own command as the lord and king of Bells to order the demons to fuck off and leave. That is what that is that route. That one is a very interesting one because as uh, San said was very stupid. And that ending Naoya joins the party, is an active member that you can use in combat, and he is no longer hiding any secrets. You can ask him anything, and he just answers it, because why would he hide it for you? You're trying to help him, you know what I mean? Like, actively. And he reveals that, um, why our main character is able to, um, do the things that he does, you know, um, like, absorb the power of bells, is because we are a reincarnation of Abel from the Bible, Cain and Abel, and Naoya is Cain, which is why he's trying to help us so much, because he's our brother, in effect. Um, and yeah, that's that's his route. It's very cool. His is, his is a fun one. And then the final route, which we're on right now, which is like the Song of Hope, which is the neutral ending and is the hardest ending to get in the game, which Sion actually happened to go into, is the Gein Haru ending. Oh, also, Ka oh. I did not even have a chance to stop that. Oh, I guess I just lose. Damn. I should have just done better, I don't know. Uh, you know Otsuro, the dude who's meant to be her bodyguard? He got one turn, and that Ganesha got two. So I guess I should have just done better. Alright, well I guess we're just starting over again. Very cool. It's the hardest to get because, um... The Naoya and Kaido, because Kaido is also on board with you becoming the King of Bell. Uh, and the, the, so the lawful chaos and neutral endings both require Haru to be alive. Atsuro, Honda, and Yuzu's endings don't require Haru to be alive, but the three, like, core, like, thematic endings, they require Haru to be alive. 
then, um, with those two, you just need Haru alive. That's the only requirement. However, the ending that we're on right now requires Gein to also be alive. Because Gein also has a few opportunities to have biffed it at some point. Just dotted throughout, you know what I mean? So, that's that. <laughs> um. But in this ending, we have found the um, source code for the demon summoning program. And via the knowledge that we have gained from the source code, we know that there is in fact a function in the code to be able to send every single demon back. But the problem is, is that it requires a song that was corrupted. Where did we find a backup of the file? On Haru's sequencer. It was made by Aya, all that bullshit. So if we keep uh, Gein and Haru alive, they can figure out everything that's going on and, you know, join the party to upload the correct file to the server to initiate the recall function and send every demon back. Make them all fuck off. Magnetite's power is full, finally. Samaric arm. Norm is now perfect. Norn, not Norm. Norman over here is now perfect. All right, now this time, don't just fuck my day up, thanks. They're fucking my day up. They're doing it. They're doing the thing I asked them not to. I hate these bastards, because they spam fucking Megiddo. And it's like I was saying also throughout this, this is actually like a decently nuanced choice, where despite the fact that one of the endings is obviously called like Chaos and Lawful, neither of them are inherently good or bad, you know what I mean? They're all just different ways of solving this problem we all have, you know what I mean? I guess I need, like, Otsuro to not move. Well, no, I do need him to move. Because, uh, Haru is... I'm gonna put this here. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't want to have to redo this. So, I need Otsuro to move so Haru can move. Because Haru is following Otsuro. So, I have to move Otsuro away... But apparently this Ganesha gets two turns before Aharu even gets her first turn? That doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna move Atsuro over here and just hope that something went wrong. Because it does not make sense for it to be built into the game that one dude gets two turns before any other action can occur. Like, this is literally outside of my control at that point, you know what I mean? No, it actually is. Oh my god. So yeah, no, I just I just get to reload that because she's gonna die. I literally need Otsuro to just sit here. He can't move. If he moves, you lose. I cannot believe this final dungeon is programmed like that. If you move Otsuro at any point, he you instantly fail the map. Wow. Fantastic. So not only are you forced to deploy Otsuro, you can't move him. I forgot that this is a part of it, Scion. This is not the bit that I was remembering, you know? I forgot that the first, like, turn of the map was bullshit. Uh, sorry I forgot this one step of this apparently very crucial, like, system. Fuck off with the Megiddo. Because let's be honest here, it's a little bit asinine. But then again, this is why I'm playing this version and not Overclocked. I did remember that this version of the game was 
utterly just bullshit. So I can't move him again. Alright, Ganesh gets another turn. That makes sense, because Cole did do a fight. And these dudes have Phantasma. You know what? It's Electrain. I don't give a shit. We're not here for the cracks. If we get the cracks, we get the cracks. If not, who cares, you know? Uh, yeah, I stance. Drain you and drain. Ow! Wait a minute, what the fuck? I'm immune to goddamn status ailments. How did you do that? I have no mystic. What the fuck? So you're telling me secondary effects can still occur, even though I outright am immune to status ailments. All right. Okay, there we go. Now you have to fight or Atsuro. Let's hope Atsuro can like handle this with his underleveled looking ass. Nice, good start. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, that fucking sucks. God, they're all resistant to Elector. This is bullshit. Wow, this is a fat load of ass. That's what this is, honestly. All the way down. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have attack all. That's right. These dudes have, like, a capped physical attack stat. Yeah, they're behemoths. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, God. I forgot how just bullshit this game could be, huh? This game will throw just piles of bullshit. Don't even get me started on the fact that Norn, the main main baddie of this particular group of enemies, has Mana Aid and Mediarahan. So all that damage I just did, no, it's gonna be gone. Dude, this right team is, f oh my god, and they all artillery heal each other. Go fuck yourself. Holy shit, look at this garbage. <laughs> Holy shit, it's fucked. Please understand that I want death upon you and your family. <laughs> Bat. All right, at least if you kill them, they can't. It can't do things, you know what I mean? They can't they can't bring them back once they're dead. God, they get so much XP though. I I did look and I was unable to get the the rest of the reflects. I was not able to get uh, any more reflect elements onto Black Frost. He needed one more point of vitality and two more points in agility before he could get the last two reflects. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, we win. There we go. Good shit, Atsuro. It's time for you to die! Yeah, just, just drain spam him. Ooh, I might not actually kill him, oh shit. Right, I'm just gonna elect dance. I, I gotta hope that I'll hit the middle guy. 
Oh, but he has Endure, though. I have to also then hope that Norn is slower than me, except that can't happen, so... <sighs> now, are you... Are you fucking kidding me, Electric Dance? You hit four times for the first time in, like, 20 hours of combat, and then you hit all of the side dudes. Well, Haru's dead. Holy shit, this right side is so fucked. God, it's so ass. They are completely immune to everything Black Frost does, so I have to just beat the ever-loving shit out of behemoths. But they are so tanky, and they have so much just full heal- And I missed! And I missed again! And then I fired, and I missed, but with my hands. Like, physically. And then they one-tapped Siryu from full with a basic attack. And then they went twice because they have dual shadow. <laughs> God, I love video games. Smack. Oh, there's that artillery healing again. All that damage on Behemoth is gone. Because they don't even use physical skills, they use basic attacks. So they don't even have to consume their HP to do, like, you know, one-tap damage to Siryu. Very cool. Here, I'll drain this Norn at the very least. And then just... I literally cannot use Electric. Almost every enemy in this fucking zone has been either reflecting Electric or immune to Electric. And now I can't hit him with physical attacks either now. Holy fuck. I have to rely entirely on Cerberus's like 10 magic stat to spam Drain on Norn, the Drainer MP. This is the only win con except she has win No, I'm fine. Oh, they bound me, too, so now Gein can't attack anyone else. <laughs> I love video games. They're my favorite. <laughs> oh, and they're full health. Holy shit, Lollifant. God, you've missed some, some journey. We have been on a fucking ride while you've been gone about seeing the bullshit this game will just throw at me. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm out of MP. So now I can only basic attack, but they have a Tetracarn up, so I can't do anything with Gein anymore. Alright, Norn down. Okay, that's at least two of them dead. There was originally nine, and now we're down to seven. Wait, that doesn't sound right. No, that act no, we're down to five. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, I, just, I have to just kill the Norns, but I can't actually fight. Okay, good. Attack Gein. Gein is the one who can kill this Norn. Kind of. Maybe. Possibly. I really kind of doubt it. Let's be honest here. The only value- oh my god. I don't want them to actually miss Rangda, because if they attack Rangda, they just die. But they missed Rangda, and so I don't get the kill on that behemoth now, because it did 200 reflected damage. Alright, bye, Gein. Alright, did any of this matter, or is Haru just dead? Okay, Haru's just dead. Uh, whoop! Oh, darn! I guess we're coming back here. Back to this turn. <sighs> my fucking god, this fight is so much- so much ass right now. Alright, we're 
We're gonna have to bust out the speed up, I feel. This is gonna take a while. Get, get, get us back to where we left off. Here's the artillery healing, yep. <laughs> this game really does everything in its power to make this vital, vital fight a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Okay. I still can't move you, Otsuro. I hope no one has any, like, opinions about me using fucking uh, save states and fast forward, because this is a live stream. Like, if this was on my own, I wouldn't, but the fact that it's live and people will have to just watch me attempt for hours at a fucking time, like, this ain't a speed run. This is not a challenge run. This is me just playing the game. There's some more validity to, like, wanting that, like, live full hog experience when, like, that's the point. The point of it is to see if you can do it and, you know, to deal with it. It's speed running, you don't save state, and if you're doing a challenge run, you don't save state. But if you're just playing the fucking game and all it does is save us time because I would have changed nothing on those first few turns. I would have done the exact same shit because it's the only action that I can even do. Nothing would have changed. I'm just saving everyone time at home and on stream. Yeah. Also, are we using the fast forward? My guy just got like a lucky fat crit on that Orochi just murdering him straight out. Like, Otzer had a really good fight there, which gave him a ton more XP. It's at 8,000, now he gets 12,000. Nice. So I'm gonna focus down this one. I know I started attacking the Behemoth one, but I need to kill as best as I can. Because now that I know they have so much healing, Getting um, actual kills on on the board is the main priority. Except I can't actually hurt this dude. Serio only knows electric and physical. Black Frost only knows electric and physical. And Cerberus's magic stat is absolute ass. Wow. Uh, this fight is gonna be painful. This single murmur versus Black Frost, because no matter what, he always starts with Tetricarn, meaning he can't even hurt us. So I have to just chip him out with the weakest of babiest of slaps. I'm gonna leave Otzer over here for another turn, so that way Haru doesn't walk into range of death. Okay. Is there any way? I guess I could use Miragi. Miragi, drain, and drain again. And then hope they get a physical attack to reflect off of Rangda. Let's see. They use Deathbound. No, and then they hit everyone but. And then they happen to hit everyone but Rangda. The entire win con I have against that team. Rangda, no, it's fine. I'm very happy here. Okay, back at it again. Okay, we're gonna try another Elect Dance. I want him to hit this fucking Ganesha. Come on, Elect Dance, just, just hit the Ganesh. No, no, yes. Okay, good, we win. Oh, but they've stunned me again. Very cool. Luckily, it maybe doesn't matter. Oh, thank God. <sighs> they also hit two stuns on a dude who, by all intents and purposes, should be immune to being stunned. 
I do have a thing that makes me immune to all status. Actually, no, I don't. Where did it go? Hmm. I must have taken it off at some point. Never mind then, I'm just stupid. Interesting. That is neat to know though, because I didn't know that I that I did that. Does Black Frost even have a way of reviving? No, he does. Okay. Alright, Black Frost, can you survive all of these fights on your own? Bye, Siryu. Mmm, Samara Karm. I guess I'll just keep draining him. Like, if he runs out of MP, that'll at least be nice. Now he can't spam Tetra Karn. Even though it doesn't mean anything, because he already reflects physical. Why do you do this? All right, I think we're done with the fast forwarding. I think, I feel we've caught up to where we left off. We're in a worse spot, which is <sighs> very sad, but we're caught back up. Okay. All right, Gein's back. Welcome back, ya boy. Give him a good old, give him a good old pat on the back. Just a good old tap and tap on the shoulder. Now, Again, we have to hope that um, these behemoths will attack Rangda. I need them to attack Rangda, not Gein. They need to either basic attack, which they always do, or have Deathbound hit them. Or they can have Deathbound specifically hit Gein, Vivian, Gein, and never Rangda. Zondine, okay. Rangda's alive. Basic attack on Rangda, fuck yeah. Very good. Obscene value, we almost killed that Norn. All right, good shit. We're actually being able to do things. Of course you're fighting Black Frost. You know we can't hurt each other, Murmur. Why would you fight me? All you do is waste both of our times. We can't hurt each other. Or you can have a basic attack silence Cerberus, I guess. Fine. Technically, you can do that. And back to full health. <laughs> but that's the game plan. That is what we're going for. We're meant to chip them out and keep draining your MP while we reflect damage onto the behemoths. But we need to drain the MP first. There we go. Now you're out of MP. Goodbye, Gein. Oh my god, the behemoth is dead. I just cracked attack all for the cheesiest way possible. <laughs> Rang the value. And this is why in every Megami Tensei game, try to keep a dude who reflects physical on your main team. I usually do. I usually try my damnedest to keep a dude who reflects physical on like all of my teams nowadays. I have I have learned well. Prayer. And 
the fucking other Norn can still heal them. Very cool. Because they all have mana aid, mana surge, so they never fucking run out of mana. Very cool. Based, as you might say. Oh, and then they hit a fucking Tetracarn, so none of that mattered. And Vivian just died from full. Er, for, uh, I technically from half. And Gein is dead. Ah! You hurt me, game. You hurt my soul. Hey, Gein, welcome back. Go fuck him up again. I didn't say stop fighting. Now it's my turn to get it on the action. You're out of MP, meaning I can now actually hurt you. My fucking god, Paladin has Behemoth, er, Paladin. Behemoth has Paladin soul. I didn't even notice that. So it gets even worse, huh? Okay. Now I can't actually hurt Norn anymore, meaning I can't keep hitting Drain because Behemoth is still alive. I'll try though. Okay, oh, that wasn't lethal. Okay, that still worked, at least. But Behemoth is gonna just keep taking hits. No, hit Ranga. Why do you keep me? What the? <sighs> it's okay. I'm not mad. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm really actually not mad. That's very funny, but... <laughs> Siryu doesn't do anything. I need to save my MP. Hey guys, it's the Murmur that can't fight this Black Frost and he keeps coming to fight me for some reason. Yeah, now we can't hurt each other. Uh, I know, right? This entire right side is the most big gaggle of fucky bullshitty fucker ever I've ever seen in my life. It's all bullshit and fuck. Drain the MP. You're not allowed to have MP. You can't. It's against the rules. Might call. That means you're going to crit next turn. Or you could miss. That's also cool. Or you get to attack twice now. That's not as cool. Can Black Frost have a turn? Oh, you regenerated enough MP to get a Mediara on, so all of that progress I made over the last, like, eight fights, it was just undone. Ooh. Hey, Cole, can you go solve that problem? <sighs> Probably not. I'm just... I'm just gonna put this here and I hope no one, uh... Shh, don't worry about it. Why is that there? Just, just gonna walk right here and I'm just gonna end my turn. Don't worry about it. Haru didn't even fucking make it there. Oh my god, Haru. Hey guys, welcome to Black Frost Gaming, where he's gonna sit here spamming defend until the, the heat death of the universe. Because none of these people can hurt him. So they will waste their time beating on him forever. Why can you hurt me? Oh, you have Pierce. I'm all set. What about you and the upload? Oh, I gotta get Otzer into position too, okay.
All right, we're gonna. Most, most big gaggle of fucky bullshitty fucker I've ever. I think I said fuckery, but all right, you know what? I'll. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll fix it here. You know what? This is very important. I need to make it this so it doesn't just say API error. There we go. There you go. All fixed up and polished. I love the quote bot, man. It's great. <laughs> the entire right side is the most big gaggle of fucky bullshitty fuckery ever. I need to go check out the bot. I don't remember exactly what I said. Oh, there's an upload button. All right, the console panel works, and the mic control is right here. All right, I'm done getting the upload ready. Hey, I'm waiting on you, Atsu boy. You're getting that stuff ready? That's boy. Well, whatever works. Bring the sequencer here. All right. Okay, it's ready, Haru. Let's trade places. Here we go, everyone. The concert goes out to Aya. Hey, why am I standing there? Oh, isn't that a little weird? He ho His face! His face! His face is he huge, ho! Finally, someone with a bigger face than me, ho! Damn it. I just figured out what that is. Cole, it's Babel's defense program. Bell, born from humans, if thou art truly the king of Bell, control my power. If we don't defeat him, the upload won't finish. Don't hold back, just break him. Random man as spotted. Uh, surprise, ambush spawn, final boss. Get fucked, idiot. What do you, do you think that there wasn't gonna be a final boss? That is a fucking ambush spawn? Uh, it's, it's technically a reinforcement. Because he doesn't get to go immediately. But he still interjected himself in the middle of, like, the combat. You know what I mean? Because he's not even at the end of the turn order. He's in the middle of the turn order. Smack. All right. No, that's fine. Babble. Judgment. Mabufu Dine Megiddo. Anti all. So, it's not anti most, now it's just anti all. Life aid. So, he heals 10% of his HP at the end of every fight. Attack all. King's Gate. Attack range up times three, cannot move. Here we go. Part of the reason why I focus so much on getting Hikate some more vitality so she can survive one attack. Yeah, you know, I've learned the, the hard way that, yeah, despite the fact that you are, by in all intents and purposes, immune to status ailments, you can still be status ailmented by random chance. Wow, it's bullshit, but hey, what can you do? It's a good song, too, by the way. Oh, Black Frost died! Yeah, I can't believe I screwed up, ho! Very rare for him to die. Oh, God, what are they doing? Well, Babel should be dead by the time they get there. Megiddo. Again, as long as he cannot do all of my HP in one turn, it's fine. You just fucking froze my Norn. Please tell me Freeze wears off in between fights. 
please tell me it wears off in between fights. Well, Altar didn't even get it. I'm over. The upload's going smoothly. We just gotta let Haru finish singing. I'm gonna start fighting now. Atro is now legally allowed to die. Oh, by the way, he is still the demon summoning program. What's that you said, Sion? Something about uh, him spawning dudes? Yeah, he's a walking reinforcements. Mediarahan. Smack him. Electric dance, drain, drain. God, even the end of the boss knows how utterly bullshit it is to have fucking uh, st uh, status ailments on your moves. Like, he is Ma Bufu dying. Just a random freeze chance. I don't think he likes what I did very much. I don't think he's very happy right now. Smack. Didn't even Brock Norns endure. What an idiot. Fucking loser. All right. Don't come near me. Damn, they've got like the big boy demons just wandering the streets now. Yeah, they are getting stronger as time went on. Damn, the numbers are growing. We can't handle this alone anymore. What's going on? The demons are disappearing. This is... Commander, the demons are disappearing one by one. What's going on? Yes, it's them. They made it in time. Demons are going back to the demon realm. All we gotta do is close Babel. Uh, Gein, you were dead. Hmm? Hey, the demons from the comps are going- from your comps are going back too. <gasps> Black Fox! No! My journey ends here too, Ho. I'm so happy I learned about love, Ho. It was fun brawling alongside you guys. Hee-ho! Black Frost, I can't believe this. I won't forget about you guys when I go back. Never, ever, 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 ho! I'll remember he how it was with you guys, and I'll spread love around the demon realm. Bye-bye, and thank you, ho. <laughs> that was acting weird. Looks like more trouble ahead. Say hello to bullshit. Oh, by the way, none of that was bullshit. Say hello to bullshit. Oh, now he's eyeballs. So this is what he really looks like. This is bad. Babble cracked open? Oh, this is called the King's Gate for a reason. Thou hast the ability to become king. Show me the power concentrated within. So this is the last of it? If it closes thing, it's over. One more round. Now stay back. The battle isn't over yet. Yeah, I'll leave it to you. I'm not worried one bit, because you can do it. King's Gate attack range is infinite, cannot move. Power hits, Holy Dance, and Megi the Long. But, where are our demons? Oh, you've gone this entire game, fusing up very powerful demons, having a nice team to support you. Oh. Are you telling me the final boss of your video game has arbitrarily stripped away 
most of your team, including Black Frost, the secret Easter egg character that you felt so attached to. So now you have quite literally lost a fourth of your fighting force, as well as the vast majority of your fighting force. Well, I never. Come on up, boys. And you know how I have all these moves that are entirely predicated on having teammates? Doesn't fucking matter anymore. Team Beef, let's go. Come on, Team Beef. Let's get in there. Oh, by the way, you wanna know why I liked Electric so much? Look at the only weak uh, element he's weak to. Atra's dead. No, no, not quite. He reflects. I sure hope your build does not rely on fire, wind, or ice on your main party. Because you can't. I sure hope, by God, you're using almighty physical or electric damage. Because he takes no damage from uh, status ailments, and he's immune to fire, ice, and wind. I sure hope in your first playthrough, you were focused more on ice than electricity. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. I just. just mm. What's up, sexy? Power hit, 361. Yeah, he's already almost dead, and that's only because of the fact that I equipped Elect Jump instead of being immune to status ailments. The only reason this dude's not complete and utterly bullshit is because I knew what he was well ahead of time. This is one of the most asinine final bosses I've seen in gaming. Entirely because of bullshit. Look how easy he is now that I know what he does. Also, you notice how he's guaranteed to hit twice and is hitting for 300 damage? Gein is dead. Gein didn't even get a chance. Hellfire Gate. Oh, you thought it was over? Oh, by the way, uh, fuck you now. And uh, now he's weak to wind. Oh, here's 114 damage and you're muted. Atsuro's dead now. Oh, sorry, you can't heal yourself anymore? I should try it harder. Oh, what, now you can't cast magic? Should have tried harder. I am ending my turn, please stop being muted. No, I should have tried harder. I, sorry, I can't cast that. I'm muted. And then he used Holy Dance to break through my Endure. I should have done better. Are we having fun, everybody? And I knew what I was doing ahead of time. That's the best part. So, yeah, I don't... I don't feel too bad. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't feel too bad. He's not only removed one of our four team captains, cutting our fighting force by 25%. Because of the nature of the battlefield, you can at most only have one party member available because Gein and Black Frost respawned over on the right side. Atsuro has to be at the middle console. Atsuro has to be deployed, so you have to use him. Yeah, I did choose Black Frost. Like, that, that is part of the reason. I did intentionally use him because of this. But... Not only did they take away one of our fighting captains, and the other two captains are impossible to get to this guy, he takes away all of your demons, and then he force mutes your, the entire field. Very cool. I sure hope you have Endure, by the way. If you got to this point of the game and don't have Endure, you are fucked. I was literally only able to win this fight because I was immune to status ailments, which, or he just never hit mute. I honestly forgot that he could do that mute thing. I thought I knew everything about him, but I genuinely forgot he could like mass mute like that. Um, the only reason I was able to do this was because one, he never used Holy Dance the entire fight. And two, I had Endure and Drain because I was able to enter the fight, take a hit, endure it, Drain for, like, the amount of damage you see me doing. Heal up. And then, you know, the next fight. Calamity of Babylon. Yeah. Now I'm just muted again. Okay, so that's just going to happen. And I just have to deal with it. 
Um. What if I fight him? Will that work? I don't know. I can't cast healing. Attack him. Five damage. Miragi dying. Okay, I've endured. Can I stop being muted? Guard, maybe? Maybe he'll miss? Oh, it's magic. It can't miss. I'm dead now. Oh, and you know all the annoyance I had to go through to get to this fight? You have to do all of it again. You have to fight. You have to fight through the fucking hordes of, uh, what, what was that quote again? The entire right side, which is, of course, the most big gaggle of fucky bullshitty fuckery I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you gotta do that again. You have to, again, go through the fact that you can't move Otsuro for the first, like, two or three turns, just artificially stalling your ass out. And then you gotta fight Old Man Babble again. So we're gonna, we're gonna come a little bit further back. We're gonna hit upload. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to this phase. We're rewinding time a little bit. I'm gonna have Otsuro get closer this time. We're gonna, because this fucking old man babble is easy as shit. Like, if you, if you couldn't, if you couldn't clue on on that one, this dude's baby bitch easy mode. Who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Black Frost is dead. Well, who gives a shit? Baby, baby bitch mode easy man. No one legally cares. We'll get him. Just give it some time. Oh shit, they come. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get Otsuro closer because he has to take a few turns just tippity tapping away on that keyboard of his. Who knows? Now Otsuro can move, but Otsuro doesn't get a turn. Here, I'll give I'll give Otsuro a turn to get closer, so I'll just use Drain instead. There you go. Yeah, because I didn't use Elect Dance, he actually did get a turn to, you know, be alive for longer. Oh. <laughs> I don't get a choice. Oh, dude. That's fucking amazing. Holy shit, fuck this fight. Okay, no, I don't get a chance. All right, we'll try it again. I'll put Otsuro right here this time. So now, now we should be fine. Also, have Black Frost guard, so maybe he'll be able to live one more turn, which would be important. Oh, no, he, 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 Oh my fucking god, he automatically moves over to the fucking left. Holy shit, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, guard. Yeah, I, he takes less damage when I guard. Alright, good. So yeah, that lets him live. So then the rest of them are just gonna beat on Black Frost for a little while. It wastes a set of their turns, so they're not, like, running towards the team. Okay. We're optimizing our systems, at least. Beat the shit out of this guy. You, you know what's going on. We, we've, we've been here for this. Oh, hey, nice judgment. That's why that skill is, like, hilariously bad. Because, like I said, it just can't kill you. Why do you care? Also, another fun thing about Old Man Babble is the fact that he doesn't actually have, like, any way of restoring his MP. So once his MP's gone, it's gone. You know what I mean? So if you wanted, you could just cheese his ass out. But he is summoning more demons in the back. Ah, uh, damn, there I go. Goodbye, Black Frost. It's specifically the Norn we have to be cautious of because the Norn has that devil speed shit going down. Um, I will tell you, you don't have to fight Babel. Like, you don't have to go through all of this bullshit. Kind of. Uh, you have a different final boss in the Lawful and Chaos routes, and especially in, um... Overclocked because an overclocked gives you more content after the end of the game. You get a secret day eighth because you overclock the ending. Haha, ha, get it? It's one of those funny, funny hahas. Ha. 
gonna put another one right here. Pop like right there. We're gonna see if Haru can live, you know? Uh, do you want me to even just tell you? Because I can. I can just tell you what the final boss and the other routes would be if you care. Double speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God, that's so fucked. Now we're gonna do them. Yeah, um... I don't actually remember what the lawful route... Or, no, I don't remember what the evil route specifically gets you. I think you just fight... I think you fight some fucking angels or some shit. I know in Overclocked, you fight Metatron, who is God's right-hand man. And in the lawful route with Amane and Remyo, you fight Lucifer. You know, the Lord of Hell. He's the dude who actually is above the King of Hell. It's the part they don't really tell you about a whole lot of this shit. Yeah. In, like, all the other Megami Tensei games, you get more context for it. But nah, King of Bell ain't shit. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the ruling factors. And he is very, very strong, because, you know, he's beating the shit out of Metatron. But, and I mean, you do beat Lucifer, so you're kind of bigger than him, but... Yeah, old Lucy. He He's fucking gigantic. Like, he's, he's big. He is a big man. Old Lucy. You fight big fucking eye, big pissed off eyeball, man. And then I think you fight something different in Ots in uh, Yuzu's ending. I actually don't even know off the top of my head. It's like I said, I've never, never really fucked around with it too much. You know what I mean? All right, we'll put this here. All right, Atsuro, fuck him up. Physical damage. Hit him with the plus stone, because, I mean, maybe? It'd be funny if it did. Ow. Uh, that did no damage, because that's dependent on his HP stat. Very cool. Well. <laughs> he did his best, guys, it's fine. <laughs> No reason to fast forward. Come on, hit a multi-hit. I'm only hitting twice. Elect Dance can hit up to five times. The fact that it's only hitting twice is very sad. If I hit five times, I would just win. You know what I mean? It only ever hits twice, and I find that bullshit. But despite the fact that it's only hitting twice, it is the strongest spell I can be using right now. Uh, Zeodyne would not hit as hard as Elect Dance. Just by its very- oh, I guess you're just dead now. Oops. I guess you should have done better. I don't know. No, fuck off. Why are you able to do this in between turns? Don't mute me. Fucking Christ. And that kills Otsuro. Fuck off. Oh my god. All right. Oh, I'm back. Not even close, baby. I ain't never played a video game where I haven't won before. I'm a gamer. Pop a heal to get full health, elect dance. Hit him a fuckload. I forgot he is changed to the fire L oh. Uh oh uh did none of you saw that? No? <laughs> What's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> uh, I love video games, they're my favorite. <laughs> Uh, now we're getting into the fight that's part of the fight that's fucked, so I can't just like delete his ass with elect dance anymore. We're gonna use Hasso Hoppa this time because uh, hopefully that'll, you know, HP dependent damage. No, it's always HP dependent damage. So let me see. Hasso Hoppa. Does this hit harder than 30 times 3? No. God, it's so bad. You know, let's do Deathbound. Fuck it. Let's see what happens when I use Deathbound at 45 HP remaining. Yeah, that sounds about right. Good shit, Otzer. And that's why physical skills are just ass. If you're not relying on plus stone to one-tap random enemies, it's fucked. God, physical skills are awful. Because all of them scale on how much HP you have at using them, and then they consume- Ooh, fat fucking damage there. 
Ooh, you see that? That was a three hit. Mmm, damage. But the problem is I'm like way more fucked up now, and so he's just gonna blow up Gein. Actually, I can have Gein guard. Oh wait, no, he's artillery me. I don't get a turn at all, that's right. See, this is also what I'm talking about for Babel. Babel's fucked because it's an artillery attack. I don't even get a counter attack. And then he's gonna mute Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've seen. We know what's going on here. Oh, he didn't mute Cole. Cole just lived. Okay. So then we come in here, pop healing, drain. Maragi dine. Didn't didn't proc my endure. Good shit. God, I'm doing pixels of damage. I also have Ice Dance, so if we ever got to that, see, if that procs my Endure. That would have killed me. But, with the Drain, now in the next fight, I'll be able to live. So then I attack him again. I proc healing. And then I just have to hope. I just have to hope that he hits, picks a weak option that doesn't kill me. Because he needs to proc his my Endure on his second attack. You know what I mean? Or just never, I guess. That also works. He again has no way of regenerating his MP, but uh, he still hurts really badly. Like, imagine if I didn't come into this fight with all of this bullshit that I have. Why do you think I spent so much time focusing on my vitality stat after I capped out my magic? Because of this. Strength doesn't matter. Agility doesn't matter. Imagine how fucked I'd be if I didn't build my character from the ground up to fight this guy. Which I did in my first playthrough. I know I was being like a big of a, like, haha, I'm so salty, the fact that I built an ice character. But that's fine, because in my first playthrough, I also had capped magic. I did the same thing here, except even more, like, optimized. I didn't put a single point into agility to get alternative stats. Like, I didn't have extra one. I add Endure and cap Magic, and I'm like, that's the gameplay, and that's what I set out to be. But imagine how awful this fight would be if you were a physical build. What if you put a ton of points into Agility, like you wanted to dodge everything, like you went for like a dodge build? Magic can't miss. You could genuinely softlock yourself on this final boss. He's awful. He's so awful, and get fucked, I'm a gamer, and I win, and I'm the best man you've ever seen play video games in your life. Enough. I have seen thy power. I now acknowledge thee as a king. As as king, oh fuck. I now acknowledge thee as as king, and thy wishes shall have my blessing. New king of Bell, I am yours to command. Go back to the demon realm, or never return to Earth. Come on, everyone. Everyone vote. Come on. Everyone. Pour him in. It's the final episode. This is the final decision. Come on. Get him, get him in here. Come on. Y'all took too long. Never return to Earth. Thy wish is hearkened. I return now to the demon realm to await the king's coming. Goodbye, big pissed off pillar eyeball man. I hate you. You're awful. You do everything in your power to fuck off, to fuck over every gameplay mechanic. Your artillery, so no counterattacks. You do forced out of combat damage. You remove all of your side party members. If you use Black Frost, he removes one of our commanders. He fucking is immune to all but one stat, one damage type, a semi at random. It's like, oh god, fuck that boss. Fuck that boss. What level are you expected to be to fight him normally? Holy shit, fuck that boss. Did we... Do it? Babel is going back to the demon realm. Our peril has been averted. Yes. Cole, we did it! I'm glad I'm tired or I can't believe it. Apparently that was not the final decision. I can't believe it. It's finally over! <sighs> Sorry, Forge, you took too long. I'm... I'm okay. It's just a high-energy concert. We did it. So what's up with that expression? I would be laughing at you. Yeah, you're right. We finally did it. That was your best performance yet. 
Justice wins all the time, just as I've said. Although I'm gonna miss my powers, but even without them, justice won't ever lose. In seven days, humanity was tied and tested in every possible way. People must learn from this experience. That's the least we can do for those who've lost their lives. I can finally go home. Ah, <sighs> wow, my knees are shaking. Congratulations, Mr. Gate. You've saved mankind. The power to enslave the world was yours, but you sacrificed that to protect the people. Most will never know what you did for them, but everyone here does. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Well, there's no need for thanks, or... But you lost your father. No, oh, thank you. I was using Aruna. Like, that's what I was upset about, for is why I was also upset that I was forced to use Atsuro. Her name is Izuna, by the way. Uh, Izuna is just a straight-up better fucking character than Atsuro. And I had to use Atsuro, but because I was using Izuna through all the final chapters, Atsuro got underleveled. Because she started three levels higher than Atsuro and leveled up another three times. It's like, fuck. Flipping a coin. Heads for Scion, tails for Force. Heads! Force shows up in the last episode to get no decisions. No. Thank you. After today's trial, I understand clearly. It was not mere coincidence that you were able to defeat all of the Bells. One of you, tr one like you, treads ever forward, no matter what obstacles or plagues may come. This is Shiba Park Unit One. The structure that came from the sky is confirmed gone. Crisis averted. I repeat, crisis averted. This is HQ. We have confirmation as well. We're preparing to lift the lockdown. Stand by for orders. Over. Go to that HQ. This is Unit One. Over and out. Did it. That foul presence is gone. This guy's back to good old blue. This kid's actually did it. Remember her? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't predict an outcome like this. He discarded his own power and made both God and the demons withdraw. Thus does mankind prove its worth. But cool. I won't give up. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. You have no idea what the fuck he's talking about unless I had just, you know, told you. And so... Babel was destroyed. Though only a few knew the truth, people could sense that the malicious presences had disappeared. That evening, the Tokyo lockdown that lasted seven days was finally lifted. Those who survived were grateful to be alive, and eventually they turned to mourning the victims. Also, despite her not showing up in the ending, uh, Sion could have recruited Mari too, which is why she didn't show up, but, you know, he didn't, because he's a, just been spelly. The government announced that the incident was a mass hallucination caused by gas leaks. Those who claimed to have seen demons were unable to prove it. The demon summoning server gone. The altered comps ceased to function. And then, one day, sometime after the incident, received an email on your comp, which should have already gone dark. Son of man. Your decision to relinquish the power of Bell 
is admirable. But that tremendous power still slumbers within you. Should you succumb to its temptation and use it for your own desire, it shall smite you down. Son of man, fate of the world, your world rests on whether you lose to your lesser nature. Forget it not. That was Devil Survivor. There you go. That's it. It did good. So yeah, in like all the endings, you typically get a letter. It's very funny because in the super evil route, uh, you effectively get a Metatron that says, hello, go fuck yourself. Strongly worded, a strongly worded reply to fall, or a strongly worded follow up to come. <laughs> or whatever the fuck, that whatever. This is one of the reasons that like, I don't know why you would, why Overclocked does what it do because I felt that that was like a good ending. Like, what would we have added to that? You know what I mean? The other routes, sure. There is more that they could add to other routes, but it's done. Unless they add new shit to make it not done. You know what I mean? Like, what, what do we have to do? That's the actual main reason I didn't want to do Overclock. I didn't want to deal with the voice acting. I didn't want to deal with 3DS emulation. It was a new game, so I didn't know it as well. I heard they made the game easier. But I also don't want them to fuck up the story. That was the core of it, and what's up with the fucking, uh... The fucking Atlas with their strange re-releases. What do you add to that? I felt that was good. That was good and done, and it was a game, and I liked it, and it was fun, and it was great. As a very good time, I liked the cast, except for Midori, and it was fantastic. Fuck that final boss. He's very, very much so a big piece of shit. And honestly, it's kind of justified that they would make him easier. But at the same time, I'm a man, and I can handle it. I don't like the fact that you can get softlocked there, but I like the fact that he was really fucking hard. I kind of just cheated with save states, but I also have already done it before legitimately, and I don't give a shit. Because when I had originally done it, I grinded like five more levels and did it that way. You know, that's also less fun. It was okay. I like Devil Survivor. It's very good. Well, so yeah, one of the things that I do know about the uh, Overclocked is that yes, in day eight, if you go super mega evil route, uh, you fight Metatron. He doesn't just say, hey, go fuck yourself via email. You fight his ass. And yes, that's Metatron. Everyone knows it's fucking from M and it's an angel. Who the fuck do you think it is? Unless you don't know Megami Tensei. Metatron is the right hand man of God. At the, he's the big man. He's in like all of the games. If there's ever, if you're not fighting God, you're fighting Metatron. That's how it works. If it, like, that's how it do. It's time to play Nocturne, cause man, Nocturne's good. I think you guys, that game is not as story focused though. You know, like this and the Persona games are like really story and character focused. Nocturne isn't. Megami Tensei's main lines are not super story focused. There's enough there for you to like understand it and like the characters, but it's not like a novel. You know what I mean? But Nocturne does a lot of good shit. So we'll, we'll do Nocturne eventually. And now normally we'd be spinning the fuck you Scion. Fuck you. Just because you like story in a game doesn't mean a game that lacks a lot of the intricate details of a story means it's inherently bad. Fuck you. Um. So yeah, normally we'd be spinning the wheel for what to play next. Conquers your demons. I don't want to do that. But is this a fucking intro to game? I have no idea. No, it just sure was a game. Yeah, the one that you weren't here for. Yeah, this is, this is the fucking obligatory, like, pseudo-intro. This is the TV ad they played for Devil Survivor. 
Hell yeah, and then you get new game plus shit. So this is where you should go, like, fucking fly through the game, skip cutscenes, do all that kind of shit. And they're on the title screen now, because we got Gein's ending. Gein and Haru. And the main theme that has been playing the whole game is on the title screen, intro, all that shit. This is the song that Haru is meant to be singing. You get it? This is this is meant to be the song. This is the Demon Recall song. It's very cute. Uh, fuck off. No, I don't want to hear that. Um, So normally we would be spinning... God, this is a short-ass VOD. Well, that's what I was expecting, to be fair, because fuck, fuck Babel. I was honestly expecting him to be either an hour or five hours, where I had to grind for a billion years. I'm glad to know that I could just nut up or shut up and just get it done in this state. But anyway, um, normally we'd be spinning the wheel. I need to stop dropping that topic. But if you'll remember, when we very, very first started the small, tiny, itty bitty baby wheel, the very first spin, Kingdom Hearts won. But we couldn't get Kingdom Hearts to do good because kingdom hearts one has the problem of there is a definitive this is the version you play and it is either a only in japan land japanese or on the fucking epic game store and column one is no one can understand what's going on or column two is i'm not giving them my money so we had no way of really playing the game in like it's an optimal definitive edition uh we've solved that I'm just gonna use someone else's epic account and we're gonna do it that way. So, uh, I know you've always said that you don't give too much of a shit, Scion, but have you actually, have you, you know, any of you guys, have any of you even seen Kingdom Hearts? Cause I'd imagine you guys have probably seen all the memes about how the game's plot is fucking batshit insane and incomprehensible. Scion, come on, man. You gotta at least know what the game is. You can't just say it the game bad when you've never even seen the fucking game. Come on now. <sighs> you can't say you don't care for it when you haven't seen the fucking... <laughs> it's an RPG, it's an action one, and it's very character and narrative focused. This is the things that you like in gaming. It's there, it's here, it's there. You may say, oh, but the Disney aspect, you're correct, because the Disney aspect is like the worst part about it, because they mean nothing, except for the fact that they, in the first game, do tie into the plot. Kingdom Hearts, Fours, have you Kingdom Hearts before? How much do you know? God damn it, Sion, there's a plot there that's good. <laughs> Fuck. I like Kingdom Hearts. You bastard. Yeah. Nice. I gotta play fucking Game of Hearts by myself. <laughs> because Lawfan doesn't show up regularly. Scion hates me, and Forrest hates me also, but by that's by ignorance and being a man who works. Yeah, that's close enough. <sighs> God damn it. It won the fucking poll. Like, Lag voted for it. So, And he's never even on these damn things. God damn it. Man, I'm doing it though because I want to do Kingdom Hearts. Like this is this is also for me because I genuinely think those games are good. But uh, Scion can be a, a very mean man. No, if it's Kingdom Hearts one, like the game's plot goes off the fucking rails after like two, like Kingdom Hearts one, Chain of Memories, and then two. And then 358 isn't too bad. That one's like a continuation of 2. Like, you need... 358 adds a lot to 2. And then after that, shit gets fucking wild. And that was all... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and I know what the plot is. And they tell it in the least fucking correct way possible. It's very funny. Tons of flashbacks and prequels. And... Oh, my God. God, non-linear, non-linear storytelling and fucking non-trustworthy narrators of plenty. But that's like five games in. Before then, it's pretty simple and it's pretty good. I'm gonna play him and you get to deal with it. I hope you all have enjoyed Devil Survivor. Go fuck yourself, bitch.